Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews, and today we have something really exciting because we have our very first Papo release for this year. We've got ourselves a Mosasaurus, and it has absolutely been a while since we had some sort of a marine reptile from Papo, so it's pretty cool to know that not only do we get this Mosasaurus this year, but we also get a Kronosaurus, so... Pretty cool to have Papo releasing a few marine reptiles, and I'm also pretty excited to see this figure in general to just kind of get an idea as far as what Papo's products are going to be like this year, because if we can recall back to last year, it was an extremely underwhelming year. The figures themselves weren't really that great, and uh, a lot of the paint applications were really sloppy and just very underwhelming, but this one looks really good, honestly. I don't know if I'd say it's like old school Papo quality, but... It's definitely an upgrade from what we had seen last year, and the sculpt is also really quite nice. It's also really cool in general to see us getting a few new sculpts this year, as we, you know, had repaints and everything last year. We did have some new stuff, but it wasn't very much, but this year we actually have quite a few new species entering the Papo line, and the Mosasaurus again here definitely looks really nice. Very, very nice looking sculpt. Decent looking paint apps, not incredible, but... Definitely nice overall from what I can see so far. So let's go ahead and jump straight to a closer look at it right now. So starting up here at the head sculpt of our Mosasaurus, you can see some really nice looking skin texture, nice looking scale detail through the majority of the face. We can also see the eyes are painted pretty nicely with a yellow and a black pupil. They can have a bit of a gloss coat to them as well, which is always a plus. And the coloration of the face looks pretty interesting as we have like a darker tone of like a grayish coming down and striping through the jaw. And you can see a variation of a brown there and then a lighter gray for the lower jaw. And I think the coloration definitely looks quite nice overall. I think they did a pretty good job as far as the application of the paint goes. I can actually see some slight washes, slight dry brushing, all the stuff that we know and love about, you know, classic Papo has been added here. Maybe not quite to the effect that we used to see, but still pretty decent. As we go ahead and open the jaw, potentially, there we go, you can see we have a nicely articulated jaw, which is a huge plus for this figure, and it works really, really nicely, and the inside of the mouth has an absolutely epic appearance to it. Look at the sculpting and detailing, as well as the paintwork. That is actually phenomenal. Look at that. That is really, really nicely done. They've done a great job as far as the sculpt goes. You can see incredible detail everywhere. But on top of that, you can also see all of the teeth are painted out. And they're all painted very nicely. Every tooth seems to be sculpted individually pretty much everywhere that I can see. Even those extra teeth there on the inside of the mouth are all sculpted individually. They're all painted really nicely. You don't really see any sloppiness. Well, I can't see much at all now that it you know, went and went out of focus. But you can see, again, no real sloppiness. They've also done a very good job of applying the paint with you know some washes and stuff to add color variation to the inside of the mouth of the mosasaurus that looks super super nice and again that jaw works great and it closes pretty nicely as well once you close it oh well, now i just pushed it back open but once you close it for the most part it stays closed pretty nicely as you lead up here to the top of the head, you can see the nostrils, you can also see some more nice looking skin texture, some more light dry brushing that's been applied, and there's also some variations of browns picking up. They've done a very good job of adding in some really subtle browns as you move through the course of the figure. You can see the spinal column up here. As the Mosasaur swims along, you can also see some nice wrinkling and stuff here in the neck as the animal has its head turned quite drastically to its left. It's definitely making a pretty sharp turn, and you can see they've captured all of the skin wrinkling and stuff increasing you would expect to see. You can see more of that here on the underside of the Mosasaurus as well. You can also see some areas of almost like some bumps, and I'm having a hard time kind of deciphering if those are meant to be just like random larger scales, or if they're meant to maybe be barnacles on the underside of the Mosasaurus. I can't really tell exactly what the idea was behind it, but you can see that there is a nice wash again leading up here into the lower jaw. There's also a nice wash leading here along the underside of the Mosasaurus, and you can see some areas of like some darker kind of spots right here as you lead back up toward the body. You can again see that we have a grayish tone for the primary body color. You can also see some wrinkling increasing right there. And as we lead down into the flipper, you can see that as well it looks really good. You can see the bone structure there kind of showing off within the sculpt of the flipper. And there's also, again, some color variation as you can see grayish tones, lighter grayish tones, and even brownish tones in the outer edges of the flipper. 
As you lead back up here into the stomach, again, we have some really nice looking detail, definitely very nicely sculpted. And you can also see again how they've dry brushed a lot of the detail out and even added in some more of those variations of browns kind of spotting and stuff through, which looks pretty cool. We do have a dorsal fin on our Mosasaurus, something that is a bit controversial here at times when it comes to Mosasaurus, and I think I've only really seen it maybe once before on the uh, PNSO version, I believe, but it is present here on the Papo version as well. And as you move along the back, again, you can see more of the really nice looking details, some more of those kind of bumps and stuff showing up. And here you can really see that they definitely look like barnacles to me. They really have a strong kind of an appearance to barnacles. So that kind of leads me to believe that maybe that's exactly what we are looking at. And you can see some more of those here along the side of the Mosasaurus again, you can really get a good look at what the actual paintwork looks like. Again, as they've dry brushed this area out to kind of lighten the stomach. And again, you can see those, you know, variations of grays kind of creeping through the light grays, making it look really quite nice. And as you lead back, you can see how the skin is stretching and everything as that flipper of the tail keeps smacking the camera because it's got such a sharp turn to the tail. But you can see how the flipper is, you know, stretching back. You can really see that's displayed right there in the sculpt. And again, really nice looking sculpting to the flipper itself. Nice detailing, decent looking paintwork in that area as well. And then as we lead out here into the tail, we kind of begin to pick up somewhat of a light striping effect right there. As you can see, the darker grays sort of striping down, lighter grays kind of striping up. It looks pretty cool. A little element of flashiness as you lead out. There's also a nice twist in the tail showing the swimming movement of our Mosasaurus. So you can see like a really nice twist as the tail completely twists toward us right there. And the tail fin as well looks really nice. You can see that there's some brownish tones here for the upper part of the tail fin. I really feel like maybe a wash added here into those lighter tones could have made them come to life a little bit more. They don't look bad by any means, but they just could have looked a little bit more lifelike had they added maybe some sort of a wash or something to that area. As you lead along the underside, you can yet again see all of the detail looks really good. You've got more of those variations of browns there in the underside of the flippers. You can see that over here as well. And then as you continue to move along again, the skin texture looks great. You can also get a good idea of the structure of the animal moving here along the underside. We do see Papo branded here on the underside saying that it's 2022, which I believe is actually when this was originally supposed to release, but it ended up being a 2023 release. And then as you move up, you can really see that wash start to take over again with the brownish wash. On the opposing side, you can yet again see the head sculpt looks really good. Absolutely gorgeous looking head sculpt, nice looking paintwork. There's even a lighter tone that kind of circles around the eye to kind of highlight the eye area. As you lead back, you have more of those skin wrinkles and skin creases and stuff, again showing the turn in the neck of the Mosasaurus leading back here. I would actually expect to see more, actually I should say less, of the wrinkles more tensing here. Uh, but we do still have some skin wrinkles regardless. But as you move back, you can see again some more variations of brown up here. You have more of those bumps again, which I believe potentially could be barnacles. And then as you lead down here, you've got the flipper yet again. Looks really good. Nice looking paintwork. I love that they add those variations of browns out there on the tips of the flippers. And you see that same thing actually up there on the dorsal fin. You can see that we have some of those variations of browns. And I love that they have kind of like chips taken out of the dorsal fin, which helps to add a nice bit of realism to the, you know, model as a whole. And again, as you continue to move along, you can get a really good look at the stomach over here, the really smooth transitions between the colors and the really nice looking paintwork throughout. And as you lead back, you again see this flipper extended, similar to what we see on the opposing side there, as the Mosasaurus again is making a pretty nice turn with its body right there. And then you lead out into the tail. Again, you can see the really nice coloration, the nice twist in the tail as you lead out to that beautiful tail fin there on our Mosasaurus. So that is absolutely awesome. I'm really excited about this one and definitely a great way to start the year for Papo because it really does have the feel of like older Papo. Not, you know, super impressive, but definitely really nicely done compared to last year. So a huge improvement, I would say, compared to the previous year's releases and definitely a really nice looking Mosasaurus from Papo. As far as a size goes from the tip of the snout to the tip of the tail fin here you are looking at about nine and three quarter inches or closing in on about 25 centimeters but not quite there and then for a height the highest point is definitely the tip of the tail about four and a half inches or around 11 and a half centimeters for a size comparison 
There is Mr. Papo T-Rex, the Attack Pack Colovasaurus, and Robert Muldoon from the Mattel Jurassic World toy line next to our Papo Mosasaurus. And you can definitely see it's got a decent size, but it's not huge. And it's honestly not near as huge as you might expect for a Mosasaurus. I would say most of your Mosasaurus figures out there are usually quite a bit larger than the Papo version. Not a whole lot. It is still a pretty decent size. And I think the fact that the body's kind of curled toward its left, uh, you know, definitely decreases the feel of the size but it still is a decent size just not massive and here is a comparison next to the collecte romaliosaurus next to the mosasaurus again you can definitely see the mosasaurus is a bit smaller than our collecte release here but for another comparison there is the collecte megalodon next to our mosasaurus yet again you can see uh, definitely a little bit smaller, but not too far off. I would actually say lengthwise, they're fairly similar, but body mass, the Megalodon would win this round. There is a comparison next to the Collecte Elasmosaurus as well, showing a pretty massive size difference this time in Papo's favor. Now here is a comparison next to the PNSO Mosasaurus. Now you can see the PNSO version is a lot larger than our Papo version. Definitely a pretty big size difference, although if the Papo version were actually outstretched, I feel like it wouldn't be too far off, but definitely fairly different in size overall. Then here is a comparison next to the PNSO Dunkelosteus, again next to our Mosasaurus. And here is a size comparison next to the PNSO Megalodon, uh, the smaller PNSO Megalodon next to the Mosasaurus, just to further help give you an idea of the size. And then we've got a comparison here next to the Papo Megalodon, and this one's definitely decent in size next to the Mosasaurus. They're not too far off. The Mosasaurus certainly wins this round, but as a whole, they aren't too far off from each other as far as the size department goes. And then when it comes to pretty much classic Papo, we have the Plesiosaur next to our Mosasaurus here. Again, old versus new as far as a very, very old interpretation of a marine reptile from Papo next to their newest. And then for one final comparison, we have the Papo Mosasaurus next to the PNSO Chronosaurus, just to give you one final comparison next to another marine reptile that hopefully you might have. So this brand new 2023 Papo Mosasaurus is definitely a really fun figure and honestly a huge step in the right direction for Papo. I think the sculpt is excellent. And actually, I haven't really had a problem as far as the sculpting or at least the fine detail anyway of the Papo line for a very long time. Sure, some of their figures look ridiculous, like their Protoceratops was just absolutely awful looking, but the fine detail is usually pretty decent when it comes to a Papo figure, so I wasn't too worried about the detailing of the Mosasaurus turning out bad. I figured after the images we had seen of it, it would look really good in hand sculpt-wise, and it absolutely does. It has all the detail you would want to see and more, and definitely a really nice, really high-quality look as far as the sculpt goes. Pretty cool pose as well, nice and dynamic as the Mosasaurus is turning its body and definitely has a pretty sharp turn occurring. And all of the movement and everything as far as that goes is shown beautifully in the sculpt. And they've even added in little bits of realism again like chips of, you know, the dorsal fin and stuff taken out, you know, just to show those extra bits of realism. But on top of that, this time, something we have going on with this one that's really good is the paint job. And that's something that Papo really has been lacking when it comes to their last few releases is their paint the paint's been pretty bad or at least for the most part over the last year or two but this time it's actually really quite nice i think they did a very good job choosing a paint scheme that looks nice and natural for the mosasaurus because it absolutely does but on top of that they've given it some nice variation of color that even though it looks nice and natural does have a little element of flashiness to it but at the same time it's not too flashy and they've also done a great job of applying like dry brushing techniques and washes and stuff Stuff. there's one area leading out onto the tail I would have liked to have seen something like that added to it just a little bit of color variation in that area would have helped to make it look a little bit more realistic a little bit more papo-ish but aside from that I think it's really nicely done as far as the paintwork goes and really really beautiful on the inside of the mouth but on top of that we have a pretty decent size for it again it's a nicely sized papo model overall you would expect it to be being a mosasaurus but it is nicely sized definitely has a very nice very impressive size on top of everything so if you are interested in picking one of these up you can head to the link that i will include in the description right now to grab yours from where i purchased mine on everything dinosaur so make sure you check that link go grab yourself this beautiful mosasaurus and make sure you like comment and subscribe and i will see you in the next review
Thanks for watching.